Hello and welcome to another video from Burstech regarding uh, the web filter products. Uh, here we're going to be installing web filter standalone. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded the application, unzipped it, and opened up the file. So before we do the actual install, what you want to make sure is that you've disabled any antivirus that's currently running on your system, and then go ahead and just double click and run the setup exe file. Okay, then you're going to come up to the uh, Web Filter Install Shield Wizard. Just go ahead and click Next. Go ahead and read through the license agreement. And accept it. Click Next. And here you have your installation directory. Default is fine. Uh, if you want to change it, just follow the uh, click the Change button and put it wherever you would like to. Go ahead and click Next at this point. At this point, you can do a complete or a client install. The client install is used for when you want to access Web Filter remotely purpose of this video we'll be going over just the complete install so go ahead and click next the automatic updates uh, we recommend doing these every day but you can set this to whatever value that you want the logon um, ID and password is used if you have an upstream proxy or firewall that requires you to log in before you can have access so we're going to go ahead and select the everyday option here and click next once all the settings have been in, we can go ahead and click the install. It'll take a few minutes for it to complete. And now the product is installed. Go ahead and click finish. It will re ask you if you want to do a restart. If you don't plan on installing anything else, so go ahead and just do the restart. And that's it. You're up and running. This concludes this video on installing PT Web Filter Standalone. We hope you found this video tutorial helpful and encourage any feedback you may have that will help us continue providing quality training videos. From all of us here at Burstech, thank you for watching.